Hello guys, Genuine here of Genuine Gaming, and here are my combat tips if you're playing at max difficulty. This tip that I'm going to share with you are also useful, especially at lower difficulties. Let's start with the deck. Your deck should include a good number of quick cards. Quick cards are those cards that refunds your card play if an enemy is KO'd. It doesn't have to be your target, it could be an enemy that an enemy KO'd it to, or any enemy that KO'd because of collateral damage. Quick cards are just invaluable in a deck. These cards would allow you to use more card plays than usual. Having quick cards is the best way of managing your hand. The more quick cards you have, the better. Another type of card that should be present in your deck of 24 cards are the high single damage cards. This won't be a problem in the mid to late games as long as you level up with your friendships with other heroes as they produce in your deck the so-called hero combo cards. These cards can produce high damage against a single enemy. High single damage cards are useful of knocking out mini bosses or other enemy units with high HP. The best strategy to have at max difficulty is to knock out enemies with limited card use. And one way of doing it is to use high single damage cards. If you are planning to play at max difficulty, most probably this is your second or third run through and you already know most of the mission objectives. Plan for a perfect hand in your deck in order to complete the mission of objective with only two card plays, as most missions would send reinforcements once the objectives are achieved. Take for example, capturing agent mission. My usual plan is to apply bind on the protector, that would mean I would use Spider-Man's Thwip or Doctor Strange Crimson Bands of Cytorak. That would remove the protection of the agent, allowing me to capture the agent to finish objective. And I can still use some cards to lessen the number of enemies since I still have a card play. However, in order to arrive at your ideal or perfect hand, you need to be patient and wait for the perfect hand. In order to arrive at your ideal hand, make sure to use redraws on cards that are useless at least for the next turn. If you plan to start a new game on Ultimate 3, Doctor Strange and Iron Man are the best heroes for the game. Remember that you have limited cards and abilities, even a new game plus. Bringing Doctor Strange or Iron Man in your mission would make the mission objectives a lot more easier. At combat, the following are my important tips. Maximize card plays. In your turn, kill as many enemy units as you can. This is why quick cards are invaluable in your deck as quick cards would allow you to use more cards that are useful. Cards that apply mark is a good substitute for quick cards. Do not forget to use environmental objects to knock off enemies. The more enemy units you knock out, the lesser they can deal damage against you. Protect your weakest hero. As I mentioned before, kill as many enemy units as you can. But this time, I want you to choose wisely on which target you want to knock out first. Of course, minions would be the first one that should be taken out. After taking out all the minions, your next target would be the enemy targeting your weakest hero. If you're able to knock out at least one of them, that would be less damage against your weakest hero. Another way of protecting your weakest hero is by applying taunt. Taunt forces the enemy to attack the hero, applying taunt on them. For me, the best protector hero in Midnight Suns is Captain America, as he can easily generate a great amount of block. Use cards or environmental objects to move your hero. You have only one move in every turn. However, you can use your ability cards to move. You can always see where your hero lands. If you make a card play, just look for the green icon. You can also use mission cards to move. Another way of moving your hero is by using environmental objects. Use your move action if there is no other option. You can also utilize your move action to shove enemies or cure your ally if you upgraded the trading yard in your abbey. Don't forget that you have combat items. I always bring with me Phoenix Flame and Greater Healing Salve. And for the third combat item, I would bring what is useful for the mission. At Ultimate 3 difficulty, which is the max difficulty, you do not have a revive guard for your hero. This is where Phoenix Flame come in. This item consumes half of the hero's health to revive an ally with that health. As much as possible, do not use this item. If you can survive without using it, the better, as it would take 4 days before you can craft another Phoenix Flame. Before you go into a mission, do not forget to bring the right combat items for your mission. 
if you are a veteran Midnight Suns player playing on max difficulty and reach at this part of the video, what are your combat tips in the hardest difficulty in Midnight Suns? Share your tips at the comment section to help other players out. Do not forget to like if this video is helpful and do subscribe for more Marvel's Midnight Suns content. See you in the next video. Ciao!